it's Sunday morning, the washing is on, the dishes have been done, the little bits and bobs from last night have been completed, and now guess what's just turned up? Let me show you, <laughs> let me show you the hugest grocery haul ever. Okay, and here it is. It's going to be really fun. I'm stocking up and it's going to be really fun to unpack this lot. So let me just do that and let me show you what we've got. Okay, before we get started, let me show you my fridge and where we're at at the end of the week. Now, if you follow my channel you'll and my last video, you'll see that I went out on Thursday night and bought a few things to get us through and a few specials that I saw that I want to take into next week. One of those was the steak, which we haven't eaten yet, but that's on the meal plan. And I've got a lot of veggies from the other night. So I'll be using those today in meal prep. So that's the state of the fridge. I should show you the before in the pantry as well because I have, I've been talking about decluttering this for, not decluttering, but organising this for the last few weeks and I still haven't done it. Probably doesn't look too bad, but just these things, these boxes hanging around and that's just, the children have bought them out, the children have bought them out during the week from the back pantry. But usually most things are empty, yeah, like that's empty. So I'll just go through and organise it. Now I don't use a lot of, I don't have a lot of things on hand anymore. Part of the reason is if I don't use it often, I'm just going to buy it as I need it. The reason for this is like these almonds, I, I love mixed nuts at the moment, I love cashew nuts, but having almonds and things on hand, I don't use them very often, but see these have gone rancid now, so I have to throw those out. And same with these ones from Costco, uh, these need to go out now too because they've gone rancid. And yeah, so I just buy what I need now. So most of these jars could actually probably go. So I'm, that's why I haven't done the decluttering because I just need to pull everything out and make decisions about it. Okay, let's do this. Okay, and here it is. Here is the haul. It's huge. It's really huge. Let me show you what we've got. Okay, we'll start over here with the meat. So this is for meal prep. So I'm going to make, make I'm going to make a meatloaf this week again. So I'll be using this plus half of the mince because I've got two kilos of mince here. So I'll use half a kilo of mince plus this for the meatloaf and then I'll be doing a pasta bake as well. That's not really for dinner, that's more for just when the boys are around and at home they can just or have it to take to work. So I'll do probably a kilo's worth of pasta bake. Actually I just might make a huge pasta bake. I might use a kilo and a half of mint because that's what they love and that's what's so useful to have on hand as well. So let's do that and I've also got to help with that process today. Normally I make it from scratch with my tins of tomatoes etc, herbs, spices, garlic etc but I think I might just use this pasta sauce today. I've got two of them. Okay Ali's dog food. I got two of those on special this week. Uh, some sausages, uh, chicken, so I will be making that into a huge chicken curry, huge, huge chicken curry. I've got green curry, I'll show you soon when we, when we get to it. The boys love these, these were on special this week, I think it was $6 for four, so I got two packs. So that will work for dinner one night and then leftovers for the next day. Two mints. I'm going to make into a huge shepherd's pie. No, it's not a shepherd. I wonder what it's called if it's turkeys. Anyway, a huge shepherd or cottage pie sort of concept. And I'm probably going to do half with sweet potato mash and half with normal mash. And then I'm going to do meatballs and spaghetti. So that's on the menu this week. As backups, because life doesn't always go to plan, I've got some gluten-free pies and I've got some normal pies that I can have with mash and broccoli should we have a night where we need takeaway. So that's my sort of backup as well as I've got two gluten-free pizzas that were on special this week and two other pizzas. That's my plan too if I need a backup. Always good to have these in the fridge if you reach one of those nights where it's just like, ugh. But we're, I'm meal prepping anyway, so that shouldn't happen. So it's always good to have these on hand anyway. These yogurts uh, I grabbed as well. These actually work out to be really good value. You know, I don't really like the high sugar content, but they're for the boys and they do so much sport and everything. They can easily burn it up. What is the sugar content? Let's see, 12.2 grams per serve. So yeah, that's really high. Sort of two teaspoons of sugar per serve, just over. Okay, these are on special, so I grabbed a bag of those. I've still got a bag from last week, so I, oh no, I ate them last night. Actually, last night I had a really interesting dinner. If you watched my video the other day, you would have seen that I got bagged salads. So I had the Korean bagged salad with tortellini mixed through, so it was, it was really nice. Anyway, so I've got one of these on hand now. Okay, so we've got Chobani no sugar added yogurt and some Greek yogurt. That's for me and my husband and my daughter. We love that one. And the boys can have these. 
Um, so we've got some sponges. We needed, we'd run out of sponges, so we've got some fresh sponges. Okay, moving on. So we've got some diced tomatoes to keep my stock in the pantry going. Uh, two lots of those. We've got two lots of pasta sauce, as I said. Two lots of pasta sauce. We've got some apple sauce because I've got... Oh, the other thing I'm going to do is I've got a leg of pork out, so I'm going to cook a leg of pork as well for meal prep. We can use that for dinner tonight and then for cold meats during the week for sandwiches and things. Tuna. Tuna I always have on hand for my younger son, so I've got two, four, six, eight tins of tuna. Uh, he likes to have tuna and rice before he goes down the basketball court in the afternoons if he's home. Unsweetened almond milk for smoothies. Then I got these big boxes of muesli bars, 12 bars each. They're gluten-free. These work out really, really affordable when you buy them in the big box. Gluten-free. Uh, they've got great protein in them. And I really like these as a muesli bar for the children. Two bags of sweet and salty popcorn uh, that I'll put on hand for snacks. Pink Lady apples over the back and ice cream. Hash browns, if I'm going to do brunch today, which I think I'm going to. Chocolate chippy biscuits, the reason I bought these is, well, because we needed a treat, and I put these in the freezer, and the children love them out of the freezer, but mostly because there was extra bonus points. So I thought, well, I'm going to use them anyway, so why not grab some extra reward points? So that's why I got those, and a couple of other things this week. Okay, so this was on special, so I grabbed three of these. I grabbed this one for Jess. I really like having nice shower gels. It sounds silly. Does it sound silly? I'm not sure if it sounds silly. But I really love having the kids' bathroom set up with nice shower gels and things for them. I just love it. So when anything's on special, I grab one. I have just started having baths. We've got a gorgeous bath here, and so I used up what we had in magnesium salts last week, and so I'm going to keep having baths and relaxing after work. And this one's infused with lavender, jasmine, cedarwood. Oh, I love cedarwood. Um, I don't know how to say that word and that. <laughs> so this is a Byron magnesium salts. I really, the last one I used was like watermelon or something. It was really lovely. So I'm looking forward to using this. Uh, and then some shave gel. I got some croissants purely because the boys love to grab them on the way out the door if they haven't had breakfast or something or they're running late and they had bonus points. So I wouldn't normally get them, but I got them this week. Gluten-free rolls, gluten-free bread, normal bread and bread rolls because there's bonus points. And I'll make these up for lunches tomorrow with probably the pork. Bonus points also with these, and I bought these as a treat. My family love these, but I only bought one lot, and I think two lots have been delivered, so I need to get to the bottom of that. Maybe I pushed it by accident, but I haven't been up to check everything off yet, so I'll check into that. Broccoli, three heads of broccoli. I got the Odd Bunch uh, red peppers. I'll be prepping these so the children can use them as a snack during the week, as well as the carrots. Bananas, uh, beetroot, I just love fresh beetroot, so beetroot. Uh, ham, ham to have on hand. Got some pizzas that need to be eaten, pizza bases, gluten-free pizza bases in the fridge that need to be eaten. So I was thinking of doing that for brunch. I'm just a bit undecided at the moment, but at least I've got plenty of options. Okay, so we've got pasta, gluten-free pasta. So this one is working out really well. This is the best value, and I'm I'm enjoying it. It's, it's really good. You can get the spirals or the penne. So I've been using this mostly, but I just grabbed these other two as well, just to have on hand. Carrots I just talked about, mixed berries for the smoothies. I got some diced onion to help me with meal prep. Did I talk about this? I can't remember what I talked about. Hash browns did I talk about? Yes. Ice cream. Huge bag of potatoes, just the best way to buy potatoes and great value, especially when you have lots of uh, teenage boys, young adults in the house. Coconut cream, two tins of that and two lots of green curry, green curry paste. Okay, corn chips. Oh, I could have made nachos with that extra mince rather than make the huge pasta bake. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll have it on hand. And then the boys could also choose to have it with rice as well. Yeah, I might do that. Okay, nuts. I've done that. Cream, fresh cream for my husband, he loves it. Mild salsa, tin of peaches. Cereal this week is huge box of wheat bakes. These cocoa bombs that the kids just love, they're gluten free, so why not? And some gluten free wheat bakes. I got a kilo of coffee. I'm using the plunger now, on like mostly in the weekend. I'll have instant during the week, so that's what we're doing with that. Radiant laundry liquid. I go through so much because I do so much washing, and I find this affordable because even though it's twenty dollars for 
uh, two liters. I always buy it when it's ten half price, so that's ten dollars. So it's not too bad. Sourdough loaf that I had planned on using for brunch today, but now I've got so many options. Two lots of eggs, some tofu for something that I'm going to make up for Jess and I, and shredded cheese. I grabbed these because my oldest son and sometimes my younger son, not my middle son because he's gluten free, grab these after school or my older son sometimes takes them for work. This is not food. I know this is not food but they work out about a dollar a pack or something and they just love taking them and eating them and sometimes my son adds stuff to them and eggs and all sorts of things so they enjoy creating with these so I grabbed those. Okay now let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about these crackers. As you know my middle son's gluten free and because we are like all working different shifts and people are in and out of the house and the boys and my daughter they have a uni and they have work and my younger son has school and activities so there's everyone's in and out all the time we've got quite a crazy sort of schedule so sometimes grabbing a packet of crackers works really well but the problem is some of these crackers like these crackers here from always aren't gluten free so these are gluten free and they were on sale this week so i just stocked up so, and to be honest, the boys can just take a packet and eat them. Like, so that's, they, we go through, <laughs> bleh, I'm trying to speak, we go through them really fast. Okay, so I got two plain, uh, two lots of plain. Now I can quite often come home from work starving, so sometimes I have plain crackers and avocado just before dinner as a snack. So two lots of plain crackers, these will be for me, same with the seaweed ones. Sour cream and chive for the boys, I got four, five, five packets of those five packets of the barbecue, one lot of just traditional crackers that my husband just loves putting a slice of cheese on and so does my younger son. Oh, actually my younger son puts peanut butter on them so that's those. These I thought instead of chippies these are gluten free, oven baked not fried. I just thought these were, these were on special this week so I thought they'd be great to replace like chips or packet of chips. So those are there. Now, these ones are the dollar ones or 90 cent ones from Woolworths. This is what we normally have on hand. Now, I've got four lots of those. I've still got some in the cupboard. My youngest son takes these to school and at the recess time or the, their morning break, he shares them with his friends. So he takes a packet a day to school. And I got some plain ones from Woolworths as well. Avocado dip. Now, I got some dips this week because I thought the boys would really love it if they could like have a dip with their crackers sometimes. I've got some uh, mild salsa over here. Did I talk about that? But also I, I grabbed these dips because they were really reasonably priced. Willow Farm. I don't know if they're any good, but we'll try them. $2.40 for the dips. So I got that one and I got this one as well. And I thought I got hummus, but I can't see it here. Should have been three. I'm not sure. I told you about tofu, but I didn't tell you about the chocolate. So hidden under here is chocolate. It's vanilla passion fruit slice. This was a clearance chocolate, and the reason I got it is because I just, there was nothing else on special at Woolworths, and I'm not paying over $3 for a block of chocolate. I just, I don't even want to pay $3.50. So these were $3, so that's what I got. I mean, when you get dairy milk, sort of Cadbury's chocolate, it all sort of tastes delicious, so it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Barocca was on special, half price, $13 for 45 Some meal prep trays that I use. Now, look at my drinks. So, uh, zero sugar lemonade these get drunk by the boys so i got them lemonade these are all a dollar just over a dollar from Woolworths. so i've got those ones i got sparkling mineral water apple and berry flavor this one is sparkling mineral water orange and passion fruit uh, one of my subscribers said that the coles do a really nice version something like this so i haven't well i haven't been back to coles yet so i'll try it when i go back to coles but i'd say this is just the Woolworths version so we'll try that uh, Mount Franklin sparkling water was on sale and I'm so in love with it. So I got the lightly sparkling pineapple. I got four lots of that. Two lots of the passion fruit, two lots of the raspberry. Then I got two lots of Woolworths diet ginger ale and then Schwipp's ginger ale was on special too. So I grabbed two lots of those and two lots of lemon, lime and bitters, no added sugar and one Sprite at the end. So these are all the drinks. Now there are six of us, six adults in the house, and most of it's, well all of this here is actually water, so flavoured water, and then just a couple of drinks at the end. And this is to stock up because under the stairs there is like a wine cellar, and so we just put all these into the, <laughs> into the wine cellar. And to be honest we go through so much like water, sparkling water, I just thought I'm buying in bulk this week. 
But then that's what I said last week, and it's all gone. So I'm not complaining when we're drinking so much water, that's for sure. And that's everything. Ice cream at the back, did I talk about that? Some pink lady apples. I think I've got it all. I always miss something. One of my subscribers, Kathy, always picks up if I miss something. But I haven't been doing really, really huge hauls. This is probably the first of what I used to do in the old days type haul. So really stocking up. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see my meal prep video, that'll be coming out shortly where I prep all these meals that I talked about in my meal plan. And yeah, if you haven't seen my last video, I'll link it up here. That's where I do my Thursday night grocery shop. And yeah, other than that, I will see you on the next video. See ya. Bye. Okay, and here we go. This is the bags. Time to fold them up.